Now we are going to turn to a new warning for tourists. That's ahead of summer vacation. Yellowstone National Park has issued a new alert after several incidents that put both wildlife and people in danger. Trevor Alt has the story. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, George. You know, when you enter a national park, you're usually going to see some kind of signage that requests people respect the nature and respect the wildlife. But Yellowstone officials actually say lately there have been so many egregious actions, they were compelled to release a public statement urging visitors not to put themselves or the animals in danger. After a string of frightening close encounters at Yellowstone National Park, this morning park officials are urging tourists to respect and protect the animals, saying in a statement some actions by visitors have led to the endangerment of people and wildlife and resulted in the death of wildlife. Because of things like social media, a lot of people have lost a bit of common sense and don't give the space and respect these creatures need and they put themselves and the animals in serious danger. Authorities are now investigating tourists who they say this Memorial Day weekend grabbed a baby elk and took it inside their car to the police station. And last month, a man from Hawaii, now charged with intentionally disturbing wildlife, was seen moving a newborn bison after it was separated from its mother. Yellowstone Park Rangers were forced to euthanize the calf when they couldn't reunite it with the herd. If you're getting in the way, not only could you get injured, could the animal get injured or in trouble, but you're actually impeding or hurting their chances for survival. We're also seeing a lot of videos like this, a Yellowstone tourist taking a selfie next to a bison, which experts warn is seriously risky behavior. There you go. Keep going. Last year, this woman at a Texas national park tried sneaking by a bison. Oh, no, no. She was gored in the back and spent six days in the hospital. Experts say always have a plan of exit if a bison gets too close. But of course, the best plan is to always maintain a safe distance of 75 to 100 feet. You don't have a prayer in heck against a wild bison. But all those accidents are completely avoidable. And look, nobody wants to discourage visiting national parks. We all know they are amazing. The bottom line, though, from Yellowstone, if a wild animal is near your campsite, near your trail, or really any developed area, leave it alone and give it space. Rebecca. Great advice, Trevor. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.